<laughs> Did you know what freezing drain is? <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Libby interviewed Miss Stevenson about her eight years of being at Plymel. Roll the clip. <laughs> she wrote the awesome Miss Stevenson that everybody loves. And sadly, she'll be leaving next year. And we're just going to be asking her some questions. So, what are your favorite memories? Favorite memory or memories from Plymel? Uh, I think my favorite memories probably are mostly my classes and my, all my kids. Um, I love seeing you guys grow and um, experience things outside, like we met through a play, actually, before you even came to Fly Mill. Mm -hmm. um, and I think just having the kids um, and doing the fun days, like Water Day and um, all those fun things that I planned. Yeah. So, how long have you been at Fly Mill? Um, this is my eighth year here at Plymel, actually. So I've um, my first class here are now seventh graders at Horace Good. So yeah, that was a that was a long time ago. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> What's your favorite part about Plymel? My favorite part about Plymel. Um, I think it's really the like the family environment. I'm I'm really struggling with mm -hmm. looking for a new school because I love Plymel. I love the small school. I mean, I know everybody's names and in the whole school. I um, and I the parents are great. The kids are great. The staff is great. Mrs. Finch is wonderful. Um, I just can't ask for a better school. Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. What inspired you to start show choir? Um. I think it was kind of when I started it is when because I had been doing a lot of plays um, in the community and the guy who did a lot of those plays moved and I really Brian yes, <laughs> Brian Seagraves he moved and um, I wasn't I didn't have a lot of stuff to do and I thought I would like to provide something for the kids to do that um, that I enjoy so I enjoy singing and dancing and so mm -hmm. I talked to, and at that time it was um, Mrs. Guile was our principal, and I talked to her, and she said, "Go ahead." And so I've been doing it. This is my fifth year. So, dang, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know you're irreplaceable, but what are some tips for the upcoming kindergarten teacher? Uh, the upcoming kindergarten teacher, um, I think, just really getting to know the kids and the family, and. Um, I think that helps so much. I mean, because you can teach anybody, but kids won't really listen until you really show them that you care about them. Yeah. And so um, I think that's the best thing. You just get to know the kids and the families as much as possible. Well, there you have it. <laughs> that's all we have for today. On Sunday, February 2nd, 2020, it was Groundhog Day, early spring. The weather this upcoming week is going to be a chill of cold. Monday the 10th, 23rd, as Monday as well as Tuesday. Wednesday, 19, Thursday, 16, Friday, 23, and Saturday, 19. If you didn't know, the Chiefs had an awesome comeback. By the end of the first quarter, Chiefs were up 7-3. to three. By halftime, we were tied 10-10. to 10. By the end of the third quarter, 49ers were up 20-10. to 10. And at the end of the game, the Chiefs won 31-20. to 20. Sixth grader and under, oof, I suggest you do have not watched the halftime show. Go Chiefs. My homies. Nobody likes the 49ers. We're just too good. Kobe Bryant died January 26th because of a helicopter crash. Kobe and his daughter and seven other people were in the crash. His career ended in 2016. He was born August 23rd, 1878 in Philadelphia. He was 41 when he died. According to AllSides.com, I was caucuses delayed on Monday. Democrat campaign officials are very upset.
Let it go. Talent show coming soon. Watch for the announcement. Hi, my name is Jordan Nelson. I was born May 31st, 1985 in Manhattan, Kansas. Hi, my name is Nolan Cromwell. I was born on January 30th, 1955. Hi, I'm Joe Sayers. I'm 76 years old. I was born in Wichita, Kansas on May 30th, 1945. Hi, my name is Hi, my name is Carol Niles, born in 1977 in Oakley, Kansas. Hi, my name is, I was born to Kipper, Tony, and Tony. My dad is number 6, and my name is James Lewis. I was born... Hi, my name is Vivian Vance. I was born on July 26th in Cherry Hill, Kansas. Hi, my name is Martin Johnson. I was born in Rockford. December 12, 1951, in Ottawa, Kansas. I graduated from Salem High School Central in 1969. In 1973, I graduated from the University of Kansas with a degree, degree in Physics and Astronomy in NASA. I have select, select me to be an astronaut. In 1978, I was born. No, I was the third Kansas to be depicted. Sally Wright depicted. Sally Wright was the first American astronaut woman and was my wife. We had <coughs> married and married in 19, <coughs> 1982, but finally we got a divorce in 1987. I'm now married to Ellen, Ellen and Keegan. My first stretch for me in was the standard 41D in 1986. I had taken photos and did streaming. I also was a mission specialist for stretch for flights. In 1990, in 1990 and 1997, in Retired from NSA. Science 208 and teaching at the University of Kansas. Monday we'll be having the scary. Tuesday we're having hot dogs. Wednesday we'll be having walking tacos. Thursday we will be having pork sandwiches. Friday we'll be having heart chicken nuggets. 